Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is another Makeup Monday with yours truly, Amber Always. And today we are going to put this look together. So stay tuned, see how I do it, and don't be afraid to ask questions below in the comment box. All right, let's go. I think this is going to be kind of a chit chat episode because um, I have a long and complicated history getting my watch together a long and complicated history with this holiday that we call Valentine's Day. Um, now, for those of you following along for makeup, um, <laughs> I already have my face primed. Uh, I am going to be color correcting today because I need for this look to stick all day long. So I will be color correcting and um, just the dark circles under my eyes. And yeah, so let's get to it. Um, we are going to actually start with my uh, my red um, color corrector um, under my eyes to counteract the darkness. Um, so, and I have a really small mirror here. So, if I'm not looking at you, it's not because I don't love you or think that you're beautiful. I need to see what I'm doing too. So, and I'm just we're going to get in there and get happy about it. Um, I have a long day ahead of me, you know, so I want to make sure that we cue all day or whatever. But yeah, like I was saying, I have a long and complicated history with this holiday that we know as Valentine's Day. In middle school, um, <laughs> I would demand a new outfit. <laughs> um, and instead of getting valentines or giving valentines i used to create a, val a, a crown of lollipops um <laughs> and i would put my hair up in a high bun and then i would put this crown of lollipops over <laughs> because you know amber's always been extra um and then in high school you know all my friends were like kind of in couples and um you know, I felt left out, so that made me kind of resent Valentine's Day for a bit. So I used to have like a I hate Valentine's Day tradition where like I would go to the store and get all of um, my favorite fat girl snacks. <laughs> Slide by the Cheesecake Factory, get my favorite piece of cheesecake. And um, yeah, you know, I just sit at home watch Lifetime movies because there's guarantee that somebody in the movie's gonna die. Um, Lifetime and horror movies were my favorite for Valentine's Day in high school because you know that's just how it was and I used to have friends my friends would come and join me or whatever oh and you can't forget the big fluffy pink robe so I had this pink happy bunny robe I had it for a hot minute um, I actually don't even know. Somebody stole it. Somebody probably stole it. But, um, yeah, I, uh, I used to get down, you know, have my people over. I literally, in high school, my, my best friend, his birthday is around Valentine's Day, and he would always try to throw a party, and I'd be like, nope. Got my Valentine's Day tradition. I can't be there. I gotta sit at home <laughs> and be sad for no reason, but, you know. When you're a teenager, you're just emotional that way. Um, and then uh, when I started working downtown, um, I got to witness some very, very cute gestures um, by some grown folks. Uh, there was this one time in particular I was working uh, at the downtown Seattle Macy's. So sad to hear about it closing. Ugh, used to love that store. But I'm, um, I was working there and I was taking the bus and I saw this uh, older gentleman and he had um, balloons and flowers and I'm nosy. So I was uh, listening to him talk to someone else and he said, oh yeah, he said, I do this every year for my sweetie um and they were like and he was talking to someone and was like oh you you know 
you you still a player da 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 you you're still you still got a girlfriend or whatever he said oh no this is my wife he said but every year I come downtown and I get her favorite flowers and I get her balloons and I take her I take them home to her and I let her decide what she wants to do with the rest of the day. And I was like, that's so cute. And my guy had to be like 85. He was, he was an older guy, but happy to still, you know, go out and, and, and do the love gesture thing um, for Valentine's. And I just thought that was really cute. And so that kind of made me feel like, okay, you know, you're out of high school, maybe, maybe it's not going to be so bad, you know. And then, of course, you know, when I was dating, um, I loved Valentine's Day. And obviously, because you're with somebody, right? Um, and it never really was like the over-the-top Valentine's Day. It was kind of the, the ones where you had to get more creative, you know, at home that I favor. Um, but that's just me. Uh, and now, um, now that I'm single, uh, I do this really big pampering session and I get all dolled up and I go out to eat and celebrate with my friends, um, especially now that I have friends that are married, you know, if they'll let me third will it for a little while, I'll go kick it with them and... You know, just go out and have a good time. It doesn't have to be about being in a relationship. It can just be a day where you show yourself more self-love. Um, which y'all know, I'm very passionate about the self-love. I woke up today, did a little yoga, was able to get some positive morning affirmations in, meditated on the greatness that's to come this day, this year, and just got excited to to be up and alive and, um, you know, grateful just to have another opportunity to be. So I'm feeling very enlightened today. Um, now, okay. So you guys have seen me lay my foundation I don't even know how many times before. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time discussing that or going over it really in depth. It's been kind of a full evolution. I love Valentine's Day. I used to love it. Then I hated it. Then I loved it again. And then of course after heartbreak, you know, I was like whatever to all the holidays. Um, and then, you know, come back full circle. I really like Valentine's Day. It's just another excuse for me to give you guys a themed video. So <laughs> I quite enjoy this part. And then when I go out in the world today, <laughs> it's going to be like, why are you so done up? And I'm going to be like, how about you mind your business and tune in? <laughs> I'm multi-tonal. So, you know, I have to get a little bit lower with my foundation but I'm 95% sure I'm wearing a white shirt today so y'all just gonna have to deal with my neck and my face being two different colors it's fine it's fine caffeine buzz it's right here Boop. um it's kind of like a kind of yellowy brown looks like there might be some yellow undertones in it kind of tan and I'm just going to dust this over my entire eye. And I'm not using the lid primer, which I would highly suggest. Um, my favorites are from Smashbox, but uh, if we're being honest, I need one. I ran out. So, alright, so we're just putting that all over the lid. Don't have to be neat or pretty about it. And the next color we're going to do is going to be rather red. That is not the name of the color. Um, I'm going to be using Heat Up. Boom, it's right here. I am also going to be using 
blunt. That looks like it has a little, a little sparkle in it. So, you know, we might be using those two. And then to deepen it up, I'm going to be using the red that's actually in my, in my heat palette. First things first, I'm going to get me a new brush and I am going to take flaunt onto this brush. Okay, and I'm going to just actually work this into the front of my eye, the inner corner, inner lid. Boom. Oh, so festive. Let's do that. So I'm spreading this product back toward the outer corner of my eye. And it doesn't have to be anything special. We're just taking this color, inner corner, and I am going to do inner corner top and inner corner bottom. And you will fruits with this labor a little bit later. Don't stress, okay? It's only makeup. What are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Tell me down in the comments. I want to know. I want to be nosy. I want to see how you guys are spending your day. You're going to take Heat Up, which is kind of like a really pretty, more of a matte pink. And I am just going to kind of pat that on the outer corner here. Now I usually like in general don't do a lot of pinks because you know up until very recently they would come off very chalky and ashy on my skin tone and we we don't play those games so Alright, and now you see I'm starting to kind of work into my my crease here, but I'm not going to give it too much attention because as you know, I'm going to be putting in that darker red to kind of create some division there, but you know, the key to all these looks that we do together is not giving up and blending. Blending like your life depends on it. I am going to take my third makeup brush, tap or shake off excess, blow off excess, and I'm literally going in my crease here. So I'm going to close this eye, look in my mirror, I'm going to start right here in the center, and I'm just going to kind of blend, and I'm just dragging left and right, left and right, right around, right around my eye. Okay, we are creating a look right now. I know you see it. I know you see it. She coming together. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the way things are looking right now. I am going to go... Oop. Keep it even, keep that same energy over here. We can still clean all this up. It's fine, do not panic, okay? This is not the time. I'm going to take my, I have a clean brush left and I am just gonna kind of, just, cause I don't want any kind of chalkiness or any big buildup, okay? Alright, feeling good? Still with me? I am going to go ahead and dust off the setting powder, um, whatever hasn't actually set into my face, without picking up too much of that pink. And I'm going to go in and do my eyeliner. As always, I am using my um, double take eyeliner um, it's two ends one is a felt liquid end and the other has a, like a gel eyeliner 
and what I'm doing today I like a good wing I'm sorry so for my wing I always start on the outside where I think I want it and then I just go for it you know and then I just go in and feel okay just go in and feel from there And it's a little thicker than I originally envisioned, but that's all right. It happens. And you just gotta go with the flow. And then I'm actually gonna pull it out a little bit more for the drama. Okay. Okay, because it's Valentine's Day and I can be as dramatic as I want. <laughs> I like to put mascara on before I put on eyeliner. And we start behind the lashes, kids. Behind, oh, we're good, we're good. Behind the lashes, wiggle up, wiggle up. Alright, so when I'm putting, I don't know if you guys can see this, but when I'm putting the glue on my lashes, I like to put special attention on the edges and the center point, because um, we don't want any lifting. While we're waiting for that, we can go in and contour a little bit. So, I'm trying to have cheekbones, so we're going to go in and kind of give me some more cheekbones. And as of right now, I think I might be wearing a headband today. So I'm going to kind of really carve this out. Okay, so I'm going to probably have my hair pulled off my face a little bit. So we're going to kind of do that. And that's it. I don't contour my nose. I'm proud of my nose. <laughs> so take the bottom end of your beauty blender that you're using to do your foundation. Um, try to... You're going to want to try to blend this into your hairline as much as you can. So, you are. Now for me, this is another thing where you just have to go for it because if you second guess yourself too much, you'll never get the lash on. And nothing's permanent with makeup, so you can take it off and try again if you have to. And this is where it helps to kind of have a thicker line for your um, for your eyeliner. So I think I'm happy with that. Sometimes you gotta risk it to get the biscuit. All right, how's that, guys? You tell me if I was walking out of here with crooked eyes, right? I know you would. Thanks. So it's this orange, and then Zane, my favorite author, by the way, is this kind of pinky color. So that's what we're going with. And so with Toby, I'm just going to be patting this right here, right on the cheeks. Okay. That's it. That's all. Right here, right on the cheeks. See that? Uh, uh, uh. And then we're going to go in with Zane. And we are going to do cheeks and temples. And as you can see, a little goes a long way. So, 
I was planning on doing this red lip, but it seems a little overpowering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my lips first with brown. I'm really focusing on these outer corners here. If you have Big Bang by Urban Decay, this will be perfect for Big Bang. This color is called Whiskey. It's 24-7 liner by Urban Decay. And another 24-7 liner that I'll be using today, I believe this color is called, it looks like it's a number. It's called 714. That's cool. So I'm going to kind of line this part of my lip. I am going to cross hatch here on the upper lip and I'm just going to kind of use this pencil to kind of fill in and then I am going to get this lipstick going and Got a little happy, but that's all right. Okay. All right, there we go. This is it. This is the look. I will come back once I am dressed and ready to go. See y'all soon. All right, guys. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Happy Valentine's Day. And if you have any questions about any of the products that I used or any of the techniques that I used, please be sure to comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, bye.